What's going on, guys? Welcome back to LOI Fan TV. I hope you're all keeping very, very well indeed. Um, just a little warner, warning before we start the video. This is a spoiler alert for the title race. So if you don't want to know who wins the title at the end of the season, click off now because this is a spoiler. Um, I'm joined by Luke to look ahead to what is going to be a riveting title race to what seems like it could be the last day. Luke, just in from the from the Rovers Bows game. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling uh, feeling good. Um Obviously, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. There's what there's four points between us. Obviously, we played a game more, so yeah, no, it's uh, it's 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 building up to be an outstanding finish. It was been an outstanding season. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Um, Rovers, we kind of ruled them out of it nearly uh, a couple of weeks ago and stuff like that. We kind of had them kind of nailed on maybe third or fourth, whatever it was, and kind of snuck back in there with a couple of a couple of good wins the last few weeks. Yeah, well, it should have been twelve points out of out of twelve to be fair, but like that diabolical decision up in Derry, and I'm and I might yeah. I, I think I still will call I I think we'll get very close, but I just think like I was watching that game, and I was like, we beat Derry, we're 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 gonna win the league. Like it, it, I went from like thinking we're not gonna be in it at all to like looking out thinking if we beat Derry, we win the league. Well, that yeah, decision, yeah. I, just think, I just think it'll be so costly in the end. I just think yeah. it, it takes two points off us and gives Derry one. So yeah, but then again, you just don't know, do you? Never know. I think everyone's dropping points. It's a bit of a mess and off the top. And like it's just so hard to call. And you're probably coming into good form at the right time, really, as well. With with obviously you're coming up as well, which is another thing we have to consider in this as well. But um yeah, it's just in terms of the running, it feels like you're you're kind of getting gaining a bit of momentum, really. For sure. Yeah, no, 10 points out of 12. Like it's kind of where we it's kind of the Rosby the Rovers of old, the Rovers have won four leagues in a row. So it just kind of it's kind of it's a bit too little too late, kind of, but at the same time, there's Possibly. still time. Let's see. Yeah, no, and um, yeah, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at looking at the three title contenders. Of course, we do have Shelby, who are the opposite of, of Rovers' moment, kind of running out of steam and, and don't have much momentum behind them at all. And um, we'll be looking at Derry's fixtures as well, and of course, Shamrock Rovers. So we're gonna be going through each team, going through their fixtures, predicting each game, and at the end of it, we will have our tally, our league table, our top three, we'll have that. And yeah, as I said, spoiler alert coming up. But um, we will start off with Shelburne. Um, they've played 30 games so far this season. 53 points there, top of the league. This Friday, they had, they host Sligo Rovers um, in a game that they'll be looking at that they think they, this is a game that they need to be winning to get a bit of that good feeling back amongst the camp, bit of confidence was probably the main thing, really. And it's, it feels like a really important fixture. So I go at home. What what do you think of for shells there? Obviously, you're gonna think I'm biased regardless of what I say. Sligo turned over <laughs> shells you're on the season in Talca. Um, yeah. now granted they had Hartman and they had a uh, Mata back when they did that. But um as I said, Sligo are chasing four. It's not like they're playing for nothing. Um, they had a great result against Dundalk there in the weekend. I think Shells, as you said, are running out of steam, but they'll, they keep it kind of tight and they might nick it 1-0, but I don't know. I'm just kind of taking a draw here. I, I, yeah, mm. I just think Shells are kind of, you know, a bit, they're a bit topsy-turvy at the moment. Sligo are kind of, you know, they're, they're just peddling along. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go draw. I'll we'll see. Well, what do you think? I'm trying to think, do we do, do we try and agree or do we do, do a separate one? I think probably separate. I think it'd be too messy if we're trying to agree, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Separate. Let's do a separate one, right? Okay, so you're going for a draw. Yeah, I'm going for a draw. I'm going for shells, as you say, kind of a narrow 1-0 or something like that. Um, I think I think they might just be able to nick it. Um, next yeah. up, then, we do have St. Pat's at home after that. Uh, another massive game. Pat's, obviously, as you kind of mentioned in the last week's video, they're kind of looking at maybe sneaking forth now at this stage. They're not a million miles away. They have a tough running. But definitely something to play for, and, and they'll be a tricky team for a lot of sides to play. I think if we're going to drop points in any games, it'll be this game. I just think Pats are in really good form. Like, you look at the players, you have Albazetti, Kina, Forrester, Mulraney. Like, it's a really good team. But then again, Shells have taken nine points from nine against them this season so far. Yeah, yeah, you seem to be their bogey team, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. A part of me thinks the draw. But uh, I, I'm just then, then I'm thinking it's a home. It's Friday night, eight o'clock kickoff. You know, like I, I think we'll get about maybe about eight thousand people in Tallaght for that. Like it'll be a proper cracking atmosphere. This is shells. Sorry, this is shells. Talking about taking shells Jeez, all there against first. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jesus. We're gonna take all shells and do dairy. I was, 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 yeah. was looking. Oh, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I was <laughs> looking at the Friday pictures. Right. Okay. Sorry, yes. Yeah. yeah. No. No. I see shells winning that game. To be fair, yeah. Oh, I could I could see you getting twelve out of twelve points. Um, yeah, narrow enough. But uh, as you said, you've taken nine points off them. 
So, yeah, I'm going to go with a Shells win. What do you think? Shells win. Uh, yeah, I think I will agree as well. Um, but it's just hard to see at the moment. But I think we, we do kind of have Pat's number a little bit. Um, Dublin Derby is always kind of one we can get up for a field as well. We can... Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I see your point, but then again, you're thinking like it's kind of like Pat's like had an off season, having through the season and built a new team. You know what I, I mean? Know. Yeah, you look at the team yeah. from the start of it now. It's, it's a different eleven, so you just don't know. And like as I said, like you know, I feel like Pat's are kind of they're a bit like Rovers in the sense they're kind of getting motor in a bit. So you just don't know. But yeah, go yeah. on. I'll say I'll say shells make it go on. Lovely, lovely. Not a big one. Not a big one. We put the side on shells. Then next, travel to Shamrock Rovers. Um, to bear in mind, I think the Apwell and the Shea game is sandwiched in between the, before this game, just before this game, I believe. So Great one for Rovers yeah. to have an eye on. So, uh, yeah, Ro- Rovers in, in Tala, Rovers shells. What do you think? Oh, I want to ask you first. I want to hear if you're going <laughs> to your backside or not. I think we've done all, what, what, what is the record so far? I think we beat you in Tala and then there was two Bro, draws at home, I think, was it? I think he's beaten us twice. You beat us in Talga at the start of the season. We, we threw did. them we in did. Talga and then you beat us in Tala. So we've seven points from you so far this yeah. season. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm going to go for another draw here, I think. Bias is fuck, but like, I'm just going for the draw. Like. Do you know what? I think if if we get a good result in the game before that and use draw points... Applewell is in our Europa Conference League games. Like Applewell's a game, it's probably one of our harder games. Wouldn't be surprised if Brady just, you know, rested the Burks and Mandreas of the world and saved him for that. So I'm gonna go for a Rovers win. I think I think we I think that'll be a set out again. Ten thousand so job. You you think uh Bradley will prioritize the Shells game over the Applewell game? I think possibly. if we if we if we win that Pats game if you're in that position, yeah. If we if 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 you use drop points in that game before against Pats or whatever, even against Sligo and it's like within like whatever three four, four point swing, I think I think he will, and and and, and Rowers fans would expect him to as well because that's such a huge game. If it is that like that decides, essentially could decide the league. So yeah, I think uh, I think I I don't even think the Europa Conference League thing matters because I think if that comes down to it, I think it'll be a it'll, it'll be a very strong um, Rowers team. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a Rowers win. Okay. Kind of similar okay. to the game last season, if you remember, like when we played these in Tala towards the end, like when Berkey yes. got that goal. Maybe it's, yeah, uh, yeah. It'd be probably similar to, to the Bells game tonight, like be tight and maybe a bit of magic from, yeah, from someone exactly like the like end that. or something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. um, cool. So you're going for Rovers win. Uh Waterford at home then for Shells. Uh interesting to see where Waterford at this stage. Will they still be in the European hunt or will they've kind of slipped off a little bit? Will yeah. be kind yeah, of I was, see Shells with the touch? touch. Like like regardless of Shells being in or out of form, like that's just a game you expect them to win, don't you? Like yeah, yeah. Be on like no, the, 100%. Yeah. The top of the league for a reason. Yeah, no, we're we'll about both going for a shells win there. Uh draw it in the next who could be kind of fighting for their lives. And we notoriously have a bad record against Rahada as well. We always I don't think I don't think we beat them yet this season. I think it's up and all could have been all draws, yeah. maybe maybe they beat us once yeah. and then two draws or something. Draw yeah. our bogey team big time. What do you think then? I think the fact we're at home. I'm going for way too many shells wins here, by the way. But uh <laughs> <laughs> not a hope like <laughs> But uh, I think yeah. I think I think I'd have you to back them to win if they're in a yeah. title race. I think yeah, yeah. I think you have to be yeah. draw. Like I, I'd love to say a draw, but like come on, top three bottom essentially. Like I'm gonna go for shells win. All right, so now we're on the final game of the season. We do have Derry City away from home, and um, it could be potentially be a title decider, uh, depending on how the results fare. What's your I'm record against Derry go- this season? <laughs> We have, I think we've drawn with them all, all of our games with them bar the cup game recently, which was obviously two 0 Derry. Um, I think I think all the league games have been draws, if I'm not mistaken. I think they've all been like very low scoring affairs. Let's just say how it is. If it comes down to it, like I cannot see shells going up there and getting three points. Like if the, if if Derry are like, could you imagine the atmosphere? Like it's gonna be a cauldron for yeah. shells. There, like, like, and like, it's they'd be different if you had Jarvis and you had Malloy, and you know, like, it'd be different. But I just think, yeah. I just think it'd be very hard to go there and win. I just can't see a win. What do you think? I think, I think we'll lose that game, even if it depends. Like, best case scenario, it's a draw, but I'm hoping we lose it. But we've already won it. That's the best case scenario, to be honest. Like, we don't we go there not needing to win the game. Like, because then again, you know, a, there, there is, place to go. Like, very don't turn up. When it matters, like I know yeah. they won the couple of years ago against you, but like they're just 
even playing them on Friday, like they're just like, I don't know what it is. Like they're just nowhere near as good as they should be. I could see, I could see that game being a draw. I think Shells would go up, keep it tight, kind of duffer, be like, do not concede the first goal here because they'll run away with it. I could see a draw. Draw. Yeah, I'll definitely take a draw, but I'm going to go for a Derry win. Um, just based off the Evans Sack Cup semi final, that really, really worried me. Um, I think Derry could put a few results together. And yeah, I'm just concerned about that game. I think we need to have it wrapped up before that fixture. Um, if we go oh, there needing the results, it's, it's yeah. bad news. Like, yeah, I think we have winnable enough games beforehand. I think we need to we need to go there, not needing to win. Like, uh, yeah. well, in a way, the league probably wants it to go down to the last day and like for them. It'd be, great. Club, it'd, be, like, it'd be unbelievable. Yeah. Like, the league's lacked that in the last few years. So it'd be great to have that. Next up, we do have Derry City. They've played 30 games, they have 50 points. Their game on Friday is a trip to Drogheda United, which is a tough, tough place to go and a tough game. Drogheda obviously are, are kind of a bit of renewed hope. I've seen the FAI Cup semi final, which is great for them as well. And and um, I think they're only four points behind Bo, so they'll be right on Bo's tail to try and claw their way out of that playoff spot. So Drogheda, just a bit of a feel good factor there. What, how do you see that one go? Yeah, I was don't see like draw they're playing well they're they're tough opposition especially up there like and especially now with the whole Dundalk situation I think they really see an opportunity and they're playing well yeah I wouldn't even surprise you it's, it's, it's a little game. bit of pressure up as well isn't it with with because I think Dundalk are guaranteed 10th automatically relegated like the playoff you'd still fancy them to stay up or yeah they're, they're, five pressure off. Clear. they're five points clear of uh of Dundalk with uh with, with superior goal difference so uh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I don't... Apparently, he wants to say Derry lose that game because it's just such a Derry thing to do. Like, I could see Derry it going there 4 2 or something. That honestly yeah. wouldn't surprise me. That's something they do. That tight pitch yeah. is a nightmare. Even now, from watching Rovers, even you know as well with Shells, it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter how good or bad Drawder, that pitch is a disaster and they know how to play it. I'm going to go with yeah. Draw win. I think Draw to win that game. Draw to win. Huge. That'll be a huge, huge result. I'm going to go for a draw. I think it might just be a draw. I think sure. yeah, it's be a little. Tough, tough fixture, but I think I think I'll go for for the for a draw there. Um, next up they have Bohemians at home. I think I think they'll win that. Yeah, they'll win that. They'll win that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Bo's seriously seriously running out of. Well, they have I think they two wins in nineteen league games. I think I saw that stat tonight now. Um, which is which is pretty desperate. Uh, then they have Sligo Rovers at home, who I think are quite a, a little bit of a bogey team for them as well. Uh, Sligo can be a funny one, they can just turn up the odd time and then they can be terrible the other time, so it's kind of hard to know what you're going to get from them. Yeah, I don't know. Derry have a good home record to be fair. Like, I think it was like before the Rovers game, they had like 30 points out of 36 up in the Brandywell. There's some mad stat like that, like they're really good at home. I just don't, yeah, yeah I, don't, I just don't see. I just don't see a world in which Sligo get a result in that game. I don't know. I just think, I just think Derry will have enough there. Back to back home, get a little bit of momentum. So I'm gonna say Derry win that. Yeah, Derry win that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think I'll agree with you. I think the home advantage would be big. Uh, yeah, I'll go for Derry there too. They've done dark away next, and I think that probably, I think Dundalk will probably, I think, I think it's gonna get just get worse and worse over the next couple of weeks. It feels like a really kind of it's gonna be the chair. It's gonna be melody. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. I think they had yeah. like a bit of renewed optimism for a couple of days, and then the chairman came out and said, Listen, we're keeping this going to the end of the season and kind of reviewing it. So it just feels a bit, I think the players didn't get paid again or was getting pushed out again, and it's just a mess. So I think, I think they'll be kind of wanting to save themselves for a move next season. Really, a lot of those players really want to, don't want yeah, they don't want to be getting any big injuries and throwing their bodies on the line yet. Yeah, there you walk that game, yeah, they're not built for, for the fight. Uh, no. Grant's about going for a Derry City win at Dundalk. Then they have Pats away. Second last game of the season. That's a tough one. And do you know what? If That's Pats are like, Pats potentially could be a few points off for it there. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So, so uh, yeah. Richmond Park, tough place to go. Vintage Derry. Like, I just can't see them going. Like, that'd be, if they won that game, they win the league. But I yeah, just, it'd be so Pats to like, not be arsed if, if they aren't in it like just to fuck over shells and rovers so wouldn't it as well like yeah it will, it will be but I, I don't think I, I genuinely think like like everyone Kenny's too professional wants, wants European football the money they're paying everything the momentum how good the players they have yeah no I think uh, yeah, I, to be honest I, I think Pats win that game Pats win yeah. Uh. So you are going for a zero points for Gary I'll go for I think I'll go for Pats yeah, last Pats home game of the season the last yeah, home game easy, easily win that. Uh, Jim, I'll go Pats as well. Actually, I'll go draw. I'll go draw. You you're, 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 you're afraid yeah. to speak things into reality in case you get clipped. 
<laughs> a little dive in the box later on from Patrick McElhenney and they get a pen oh, or something, man, you know. Don't even get me going on him. Right. <laughs> so you were going for the Pats win there, wasn't it? Um, then finally the season, we already predicted this. So you went for a draw in Derry and Shells. I went for a Derry win. So that's fine then. So I say keep uh, keep keep the fo- total points for when we yeah. set all three. So then we yeah, can like keep it quiet. No, no. Keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep it quiet. Um Shamrock Rovers then played 31 games, have the extra game played, and they have 49 points, so one point off Derry City and four points off Shelburne. Um now Sh- Shamrock Rovers their first game, obviously on Friday, Friday. is St. Pat's at home. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, it's big one. It's, 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 it's I think it's gonna be our hardest game. I think it's gonna be tougher yeah. than Shells. I just think the Pats are kind of, you know, if like if the league did start like in the if, if there's we're looking at an informed league table, Rowers and Pats are probably leading it based off recent yeah. performances. So probably, like it's gonna yeah, be tough. Yeah. Um if this is away from home, I I'd honestly go Pats. I wouldn't even think about it. But just the fact that it's a home, it's it, like the win tonight was huge. Even just listening awesome. to Bradley after the game and Burke, like we're they were like we're still in this tall race. Um, even players like Farouz and Burke coming on, like like we've got strength and depth now. Um, I'm thinking draw, but I'll go for a Rovers win. Go on, go for a Rovers, Rovers win. win. Rovers win. Yeah. Um, I will agree with you. I think that mm-hmm. have enough about them. That's that's me. That's a cracking game, though. That's a cracking game because Pats are cracking need game. to win these games. Pat, Pats have. Rovers has to play all the top three teams so like for Pats as well like they have to have a huge end of the season to get that to fourth spot don't there's they so, there's so many good like if you're looking at that officially there's so many games that should be on telly there like Rovers Pats Shells yeah, us, yeah. like Pats Derry using Derry like there's so many cup and, finals there, like. and there's not even like the excuse that Orta you have of like Rovers running away with the title every season so there's no oh. narrative and stuff there's a huge narrative everywhere across the league like Unbelievable, like it's so it's even getting a Dundalk fun. game on for the narrative there. And every single team has a narrative, like every single team. There's no team that's not competing for anything, you know. Every team's in no. some sort of you predict the, the next up. We have the Shells game, so we already predicted that. So you went for a Rovers win, I went for the draw there. Uh, then you have draw that away, which is which is a tough, tough game, yeah, yeah, that's a tough one, and that's one we struggled with. Um, but then again, we won up there earlier on in the season. And they, they they nicked us there in Tallow for a draw. Um, I'm just, okay. I suppose I need to think of it as like if my predictions come true, what's the situation yeah. look like? So if we win Pats and we win Shells, we're 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 banging it. And like even Burke said in his interview there, he was like, uh, he was like, we got to win all the last five games. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. What are you thinking? Especially especially if we're dropping points against Ligo and Pats ourselves, then like you're like, right yeah. next. Yeah. What What do you think? What are you going? For? Uh, Draw it away. I, I think Rovers. I think Rovers will be okay. You do have the Larn game after this one, so I don't know if an eye will be on that. Maybe if things have gotten away from me a little bit, but I don't think so. I don't think it's not like a long trip or anything. It's not like a... Jesus. Like it's closer than Derry. Like it's half the. It's, yeah. half the Derry, it's just so. the only thing about it is the financial implications. Like because if you win a game oh, in Europe. Be- yeah. So much more lucrative. Like so, maybe that is what came, what Bradley would think this well, is a game. Well, not well, not game. Well, not to disrespect Larn, but like if they were in the League of Ireland, they'd be battling relegation most likely. Like they like yeah, they're, the table they're, best or whatever. Not like the it. best team. Like so you don't you hardly need to rest your big boys with them. Like you can kind of you know play a half strength team against Draw and play a half strength team against Larn and kind of get away yeah. with it. You have the squad depth to do it. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think like Gaffney and Hoare and, and Green are like all mm. like they're they're gonna be back now soon as well. So you've damned it. So anyway, yeah, I think we 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 rotation. Yeah, I think we'll. I, uh, yeah, I think we'll maybe just nick it. Like all, all these games, there's not gonna be any fucking hammerings here. Like they're all gonna no, be no. Yeah, yeah, it's Rovers win. I'll go with Rovers as well. Uh so that leaves yeah, grand. I'm just doing the maths here myself. <laughs> Past match enough. Uh <laughs> yeah. uh Dundalk away, second last game of the season. Um that's routine. I think, I think they'd be I think they'd be gone by then. Yeah, that, yeah. As you, that, as you said, that leaves us with Waterford at home on the last day of the season, which could be one of those weird ones. It's like on paper, oh, we Rovers win, but like it's harder than it looks, kind of thing. If Waterford are battling it out for for Europe, or you know, this could be the pressures on or anything. Like it's just and you're kind of focused on what's happening in the Derry Shells game and there's bits and pieces going on. You might be yeah, overthinking then, it a bit or something. You know, I'll get this weird things, ones on the final day, like. 
Yeah, they beat us in Tala 3 1, and it was probably the worst we played all the season. They fucking played the best well, like, and it was uh, it was grim watching. But like, I'm just thinking about what you said about Shells playing Waterford, and you were saying uh, they're probably going to be falling out with that top four battle. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> according to your logic, they won't be in the yeah. European battle by then. So, <laughs> I'm just using what you've said against you. Yeah, no, it's fair enough. They're fair enough. Yeah, I can't take that back, you know. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> we'll go five minutes out of five. Go on. Well five wins out of five, outrageous. Uh, yeah. I'll go for you to win as well. Four wins from five there. Uh, so then we have our final tallies, I believe. So we'll go through your league table first. In third place, you do have Derry City on 57 points. So you only backed them to pick oh. up uh, <laughs> 10 points from the last six games. You, you backed them to pick up. I, yeah. I'll go through yours first. So then... Who, does, sorry, who did you who did you have in uh in third then? In third place, I have um joint Derry and Shamrock Rovers on sixty two points. <laughs> so <laughs> Shelburne won the league with sixty six, four points clear somehow. Somehow. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. And then so you so, now, so I have Shells to win the league, which I'm looking at it now. I'm like I'm definitely a bit generous with us, but I'm feeling confident now. But actually looking at this is actually pretty good. Uh, so you had. Derry to finish on 57. Seven points off the next position. You had Derry to finish behind. Uh, Rovers picking up five from five, finish on 64 points. And you had Shelburne to pick up 11 points from their final six games, which means they are level on points with Shamrock Rovers on 64. Holy so shit. it would go down to whatever what goal, goal difference, difference it is. Holy I'll check what the goal fuck. difference is at the moment. Holy fuck. I assume yours is better than ours. I would imagine. Or we've got the head-to-head. I think it's goal difference, is it? We're, we're one better than you right now. But we've played one a game. better. We don't score oh. many. We don't concede any, you know? Fuck. And do you know what? Like, if we if we end the same goal difference, you'll win the league because uh, you've beaten us twice and we've only drawn with you. So even if we do beat us, it goes down yeah. to that, doesn't it? Head-to-head. Is it or goals is it four or head-to-head? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you know, let us know down in the comments below. But 64 points apiece. Could you, would, you not, would, you, would you not give us a point in Tala or, or a home win this weekend? Well, look, I'm being, I gave you a draw <laughs> there. You know what I mean? I'm only. You did, to be fair. Nice. You did, to be fair. Yeah, you did, to be fair. <laughs> I could um, have said Derry walked you as a then, you know, it would make a lot more sense. But no, to be honest, if that happens, oh well, my God. Like, yeah, well, we definitely needed a bit of a neutral party in here to kind of rain us in a bit. We else. Yeah. 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 Here, so, uh, like, the, Shale's picking up four wins in the last six, as I predicted, is probably unrealistic. And then Rovers been five from five. It could happen. Yeah, no, listen, not. I'm, I'm saying it's unrealistic. Like it is what it is. I probably oh, I just think we get Pats. But if I just think we get past Pats on Friday, we win, win that game. And some results, just say one or you or Derry don't win that game. I think it's proper on. Like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I think so. If it goes into goal difference, I think your prediction is Rovers win the league because I think if you win five from five, sure your goal difference will probably eclipse ours. I would imagine. Hmm. It'd be unbe- it'd be unbelievable if, if if we won the league off the back of that, like it would be the best one yet by a country mod. Yeah. Like yeah. it would be. And it'd probably be one of the greatest ever League of Ireland seasons. Based yeah. off just like we literally sat here two months ago going like Rowers will even get Europe. And now like yeah. like it's just crazy. Like it's just been it's a mad nice. year. I think I was saying that as close as like three, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. Like it was that weekend you had Jembe had those two wins and then Couple of I remember, yeah, we, we we had Pats away and Sligo, and then we lost both of them. Yeah, we lost both of them, and we were like yeah. sixth or something, and it was great. Yeah, and we played yeah, Entrada yeah. and Galway, and we drew with both of them at home, and it was just terrible. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've gone with Rovers in the league, Shelburne in second, Derry in third. I have gone with Shelburne in first place. Um and then a joint Rovers and Derry joint in second. I'd imagine Derry probably Derry have a would, better goal difference. Probably. Yeah, Derry will probably have second in that in that world. Like in that just, that world, yeah. Yeah. So I'll go with yeah. Shales. As it stands, I'm I'm sticking with how it stands at the moment, you know. Right, right, yeah, fair, the, fair. Well, listen, um, I wasn't expecting you to uh have Shells and <laughs> already that crack, even though you say he's a third favourites. It's all no, well, I think we still have based on budgets, etc. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah sure best players throughout the season, like. Will Jarvis ran away. Gavin Malloy ran away. 
And now, well, uh, it's going to afford to bring back your dad. 43-year-old Aiden O'Brien up top is uh, going to win you as the league. <laughs> you, you, see, you say it's the best story ever. You say it's the best story ever at Rovers in the league. It's the best story ever if Damien Duff wins you know what? a bunch of misfits, a bunch of on. misfits, a bunch of t- t- castaways. <laughs> Castaways, rejects, a bunch of rejects. Sean Gannon has more League of Ireland than I have for the fingers and toes. Come on, <laughs> well, like, what um, we can we can both agree that Derry just even the crap that he caught. You hear him after the game on Friday, he was like, Dublin media are out, like, are out to get us and all. Oh, and like, it's like, like, he, he, he's like. Money. What's he talking? Derry, like, it's, like, it's hardly like it's hardly a, a, a talking point. Like Derry, something. It's, it's oh, he's just such a knob. Like I actually can't stand him. He's a prick. Like, <laughs> he's such. So a, you, he, took he that, like, what? you took that penalty decision well, anyway. Oh, it's just a knob. But like he has that big face in him all the time, and like I just think he's overcompensating so much because he's had so much money to spend, and he's done so little with that Derry team, and yeah. he's now trying to build this narrative. Like I get the Duff narrative, I get it. Like he's, he's whatever underdogs, the whole takeover saga on a shoestring. I get it, but him trying to build a narrative is like shut up, mate. Like yeah, you talk no. about your backside. Yeah. <laughs> No, but honestly, if they finish yeah. third, it'd be the best. If they finish third and and draw the Wonder Cup or something, oh, it'd be the best thing ever. Like, That'd be yeah. incredible. But as long as long as he, I think I want them to knock out Bowes. They need to knock out Bowes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need yeah. that to happen. But imagine Derry doing the double like the fuck sake. Oh, fucking bastards! <laughs> they're they're winning nothing. They're winning nothing. It's gonna be no, uh, Higgins, Higgins being the job center in the in November. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You might get the learn job, maybe. Miserable fuck, honestly. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, tempers have flared in the title race debate. Um, but yeah, do let us know down in the comments below who you think will win the Premier Division this season. It's going to go down to the wire, probably. And there'll probably be a lot more drop points than we envisage based on kind of form and stuff. But yeah, who knows how it's going to go down. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Please do subscribe if you are new. It is much, much appreciated. Plenty of content to come. And yeah. Take it easy, guys. Catch you in a bit.